Hey, boys and girls, you know what time it is? It's practice time. Let's start lesson one on page six of the Standard of Excellence by looking at the upper left-hand corner, bass clef. This is important because it's the clef that determines the names of the spaces and lines of the staff. The names of the spaces in bass clef are A, C, E, and G. A great way to remember that is all cows eat grass because it's true. <laughs> the names of the lines in bass clef are G, B, D, F, and A. A really cool way to remember that is good burritos don't fall apart, because they don't. <laughs> Next up is time signature, 4-4. Four, four. The top number, 4, tells us that there are four beats or counts in each measure. That's all we're going to worry about time signature for today. We will come back to it another day. Continuing along, there's whole note. What does the whole note look like? To me, it looks like a circle. And a whole note gets four counts in 4-4 four, four time. What is it? Whole note. Wait, what is it? whole note. For every note value, there is an equal counterpart, the rest. The whole rest kind of looks like an upside down top hat, or maybe an upside down sombrero. The whole rest also gets four counts in 4-4 four, four time. Then what's the difference between a whole note and a whole rest? Sound. You make a sound, hopefully a good one, playing a whole note. During the whole rest, you're silent. Lastly, one of the many musical symbols that we'll need to be familiar with is the flat sign. It looks like a lowercase b. A flat sign lowers the pitch of a note one half step, and that remains in effect for the entire measure. More on that later. Continue to the next video.